I'm going to perform for you The Jester by the Black Bottom Meridies. A long time ago, in a land most far away, there lived a simple village which might still be there today. This town had a bane, the jester was his name. He had a band of men, and terror was his reign. No one could ever equal him at throwing words or puns. He terrorized their village, raped their daughters, killed their sons. He stole their crops and burned their homes, yet none could shed a tear. For the jester made them smile, while his company made them fear. Yes, the grown men would run, and the children would hide. The women would faint to the ground. He had bells on his shoes, a baton at his side, and they feared when the jester came to town. Now, with eyes shining dark, the jester made his mark. He'd a face white as death all around. He'd a bit sharp as knives, and they'd run for their lives, for they feared when the jester came to town. One day they rode into this town, a man with a sash of black. He had a song in his voice and a harp on his back. A traveled man from far away, his road was long and hard. And he bore it well, though he'd been through hell, and he called himself the Bard. This Bard performed a juggling show, those balls he made a whirl. Till the jester interrupted by insulting a young girl. The Bard he made a Snyder mock, and thus he sealed his doom. For the jester said, I'll meet you in a pun fight at high noon. <laughs> yes, the grown men would run, and the children would hide. The women would faint to the ground. He had bells on his shoes, a baton at his side, and they feared when the jester came to town. Now, with eyes shining dark, the jester made his mark. He'd a face white as death all around. He'd whip sharp as knives, and they'd run for their lives, for they feared when the jester came to town. Next morning, bright and early, the bard was nowhere found. The town was quiet as a church, no one dared make a sound. The jester rode into the town, no one dared even think. He stopped into the tavern and he got himself a drink. At noon the jester stepped outside, the sun was shining bright. The jester said, I knew he'd run, this town is mine tonight. My noon, it seems, is higher than yours, rang out in a voice so clear. So the jester stopped and turned around. And he then began to fear. The bar jumped lightly to the ground. The subject had been set. So the jester steeled his voice, and he said, A bet's a bet. I have a sage to visit about your comment on the time. The bard replied, Let's spice things up in a wicked sound and rhyme. The jester shot back quickly, Are those cloven hooves you wear? Why no, but if you're interested, there's a sheep right over there. The bard thus scored the first real blow, and he thought he might have won. But the jester said, I wouldn't, and the pun fight had begun. From sheep the subjects went to war and continued towards the night. From knights came swords and armor in a truly glorious fight. Fighting went back to war, they wore out subjects true. But the truth itself was no match for the vice they had to screw. The bard nailed that one on the head, and this the jester saw. It's hard to wear a subject when your throat is hoarse and raw. But the main pun of the evening, from its tail up to its it was a triple pun, and twitch was done. The jester lay there dead. Yes, the grown men would run, and the children would hide. The women would faint to the ground. He had bells on his shoes, a baton at his side, and they feared when the jester came to town. Now, with eyes shining dark, the jester made his mark. He'd a face white as death all around. He'd have sharp as knives, and they'd run for all their lives, for they feared when the jester came to town. So the pun fight had been won, and the town owed its lives to a way with words unmatched for which every true bard strives. So the bard finished up his strap show. He sang well into the night, and the people of that town held a feast as was their right. Next morning the bard rode away, the people said a goodbye, and the lass who'd been insulted asked with a tear in her eye, Have you any words to leave with me before you go, my lord? Remember, lass, the pun is truly mightier than the sword. <laughs>